Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. When we last left off, we had just escaped Tarsus, or Tyrus, or whatever it's called. Pretty sure Tarsus is something else, but I could be wrong. Anyway, I have a retainer in, it's the lady of the hotel, and I will be with you guys in the rest of the video in a moment. Okay. Yeah, mission's gonna be taking that hard, because she was like waiting for her brother there. I just want to get into his pants, but, you know. Yeah, we can only bang Karth. He's the only one, so obviously we have to. What a pretty place. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Oh! Okay. Can I talk to him? No? Okay. We gotta go. We're banging the evil one. Uh, safety place. Is that how you spell safety? I don't even know. Save! Yay! Yes, yes, yes. We save. We save. Mm hmm. Runda di hotonga kun hunga bi. What ka chikun ita hodonga? Rave! <laughs> um, came Bastila. We work together to escape Taurus. You as well. Grave! Ooh, lemon I like it. Oh, hi, Jedi. If you are seeking information, perhaps the Jedi Council... Right, right, right. Am I going the right way? You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Uh... I believe you are mistaken. I'm not a Padawan. I'm Brink Carr. I came here with Bastila. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The I'm too old to be a Padawan. I can feel its presence. They bring it's Padawans in when they're jest. young. It is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. The Jedi Order takes itself way too seriously. I didn't come here to be scolded by you. No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the force be with you. Enclave, cave, menave. Ooh, nice. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Um. Okay, so... waiting for you inside ah, pretty place so you are the one who rescued Bastila is it that is Yoda yet you are here we have been discussing your rather special case I am Jar a member of Flavor the Jedi Flavor. Council with me are Master Vrook Master Vandar and of course the chronicler of our Academy Master Dorak so it's another Bastila, Yoda species sure but not Yoda Isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Yes. The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are oh, the okay. facility here on Dantooine. I've got some questions for all of you. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little bit insolent. I am sure that you do. I assure you that we will have answers for you. Blame! <laughs> I broke. Uh why why did the 
the Sith destroy terrorists? Darth Malak seeks to destroy the Jedi Order. Our most effective weapon, perhaps our only hope, is Bastila's skill with battle meditation. With this power, she can swing the tide of nearly any battle in our favor. Which is why Malak was seeking her so fervently. And if he could not have her, he would see her destroyed. Terrace was just in the way. We need Bastila in our fight against the Sith. Indeed. She's so young, though. Speaks like Yoda, he must. Opportunity, which brings us to you. Uh, me? What about me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. I'm too old. Strong in the Force? Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this woman. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself... <laughs> Speaking style, I will not accept. The Jedi training is no, Lemonzy, I'm so Even sorry. Working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? What lie? Of course, Great Jedi, I will learn your ways and follow the light. Um, I am ready to accept the training, and my age has nothing to do with it. But I'll say, I am willing to try my best. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Hey, Yoda was a little odd. Not Yoda is lame. <laughs> oh, I'm dreaming. Is it a Jedi temple? The dark side is strong in this. Oh, I can feel its power. That's him before he turned. This wise, the ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? Is that Revan? In the black robes? Dreaming of Kylo Ren? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. I had a rough night. Well, I can't say I blame you. I, I haven't exactly been sleeping well myself. Here, I thought things would get better once we escaped Terrace. Did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, Neither do you. Are you all right? No. I had a rough night. Let's you go. Okay. Add an emission. She might be having a hard time. Yes, what's on your mind? Dantooine's a boring place. It's all plains and herders and small settlements. Perfect for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. Well, that's all I can think. Rather potentially troubled, but potentially sexy, dude. I 
still don't find Kylo Ren that attractive. But there's part of me. So part of me is like, sometimes I'm like, eh. And then sometimes I'm like, eh. Like, I don't know. There are times where I'm like, man, Adam Driver is really hot. And then there are times where I'm like, man, Kylo Ren, I want to punch him in the face. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's, it's, it's just gone. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. I don't really think there's anything you can say. I just have to find some way to deal with it, I guess. It'll take some time. Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just, it's a shock. She's you know? so young! I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malak, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik, I guess that's what it is. I find Adam Driver very attractive. Like, really attractive in a lot of ways. Like, he's got, like, a very unique face, but, like, I really, really like it. He's really attractive. Like, I was kind of like, eh, at first, but now it kind of it grew on me. And then, um... But Kylo Ren himself, I just kind of want to slap in the face. Right? Okay, I did just talk to her. Mission seems rather distant. Maybe I should talk to her. Okay. All right, mission. Hey what can I do for you? I, I, I want to talk to you about your brother. Sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. Uh, what does she do to you? My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay, until you know where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. No, uh, you mean to dump him? I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. Maybe she actually liked Griff. I saw Lena for what she really was. A busty, credit-grubbing cantina rat. She used wow. and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. Well, he shouldn't have left her. He should have taken her with him. Maybe something happened to him. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff butt good. This sounds... It could be true, but it also sounds like jealousy. Me? I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, have it your way. Alrighty. You think it's hilarious? I just kind of want to slap him and be like, boy. You know what's funny is I found out. Yeah, Kylo is the new Vader, basically. Um, he's Vader's grandson. But, uh... What was I going to say? Oh, I found out the other day that Rey is 19 and Kylo Ren has no official date, but he's probably 29 or 30, according to, like, when he was probably born and everything after, after everything went down. Oh, am I supposed to go... He is like Anakin, but more sexy than Anakin. He is Han Solo's son, but because Han Solo is married to Leia and Leia is Vader's daughter, he's he's Vader's grandson. Okay. Oh, I, I actually have it. It's mine. Ooh.
I have to go see the council again, right? Because they're not letting me do anything. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. How did you know, Bastila, that I had it too? Revan, in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps You haven't studied them? If Revan and Malak found The Jedi them. can be so narrow minded sometimes. How would Bastila know if we shared a dream? She says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you. Ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong in the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. So Bastila and I are like as bound? As it, you, as it acts through Bastila. I am having visions now? You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force. And each other. This is not unheard of. I don't even like Bastila. Form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. I'm saying I'm joined with her. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Oh my gosh! So that's if you really want to be a Sith. You can, like, lie, you can lie, and lie, and lie! I will try my best. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side. Giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, Obviously, Dark Lord. Malak has already been here because he found the ruins here. Jeez, my gosh, look at that. How can he be stopped? Or did, did I turn into the dark side? The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how... I mean, Reverend I've seen... Malak I think I've seen all the Star Wars there, movies. Find a way to stop them. But it's been a long time, you know? Lemon Z. I just, I mean, the Force can do, like, so much. Like, it's never really been, like, given strict boundaries. It's the Force. It's like, it, it, just, it just is. Malak is a cool name, but only ever used for villains. <laughs> Uh, I, I accept the mission. The force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins... You so you can't be willful or headstrong. headstrong. That seems lame. So you can resist the darkness within yourself. Within all of us. Otherwise you are doomed to fail. Holy crap, look at that. As you wish, Master Vandar. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is... Oh, that's not... I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. 
Meditation will teach you to channel the power. <gasps> I'm making books float. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Look at me reading. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. I don't even like her. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are your potential is unlimited and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully. Look, our personal Jedi. space has been invaded. We're getting Soon invaded. Our apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. I'm getting an upgrade. I want to ask some more questions about Revan and Malik. You mention those names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When Nobody stands like how my character Revan is standing. Revan often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign, but I perceive the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil, one I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. What happened? The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt. I know that training montage needed a good, <laughs> good montage song. To truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat... Well, Rey didn't become a Jedi with a five-minute lesson. Rey just had, like, the innate... She's still raw and untrained. It was inevitable many of the orders but I like the route they're taking with her. Noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed. Many of our youngest and They're trying to bring on saving the, the Jedi, the, the idea of the Jedi back to basics and not like all bound up in tradition and all this stuff. It's like the force is the force. Like it's it's good to have training and you, it's nice to have it. But like the basics are simple enough for a child to grasp. It's just that. And it's like an, I think it's going to be a new order. It's not going to be a Jedi order. It's going to be like a new order. Disobey the Jedi Council. They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan Malak and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted, their spirits were tainted, and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this, a lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. You have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. Yes, what's on your mind? Never mind. You got it. You got it. All right, I should probably call it here, though. Um, but thank you guys. We are now Jedi. So again, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one.